Hey loves and welcome back to my channel, it's Ijoma here and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this sleeve, I don't know what to call it, it is a structured sleeve, that is all I know. So about two persons have sent it to me on Instagram that I should make a video on it and I'm finally making a video on it, though the trimmings are not here, it's just an illustration. Now we'll start drafting this on a pattern pack but one thing about this sleeve is that it does not have any particular measurement, it is at the spirit lead. So first of all, I will trace out like a, a sweet um a sweet heart or a heart shape, just a heart shape. So this heart shape that I'm drawing right now does not have any particular measurements. So after drawing this heart shape, I'll go ahead and cut out. It depends on how long or how wide, how short you want yours to be. But this one from the length from the top down to where this sweet heart shape stop is about, let's say. 10 inches it is not more than 10 let's say 10 inches so after doing this what i'm going to do is that i will cut out another another um, fabric another paper i'm drafting everything on my paper so that i can have a clear view of how it looks before i transfer to my fabric so this sleeve has three joinings it has three joinings this one is number one i will cut out another one and another one it has three joinings so this particular base is okay now this is the base of this sleeve now after doing this i am going to measure round this sleeve i'll take the round measurements of this sleeve and after taking the round measurements i got like 36 inches so after getting that 36 inches what i'm going to do is that i will cut out a long 36 inches piece now this is a fresh paper and i have 36 inches here so the width of this piece will be three inches three three inches it is not on fold just mark out three three inches and then 36. let's say after measuring your own you got 30. you cut out a 30 inches piece and the width should be three inches so i'll go ahead and mark out these three inches and then i will cut out so this is the one that i will place around that heart shape that i cut out i'll place it around the heart shape then after cutting out this one i'll cut out another one that one is the one that i will attach to the shoulder it will be that one is the one that we will attach to the armhole area now this is how you place it around your um heart shape i'm trying to like cross check what it looks like then after doing this we are going to trim down the edges we are not going to leave it to have that square shape so in order to get the accurate shape i had to use my masking tape to hold them down like i'm trying to gum the heart shape and the this piece that i cut out so i just placed um the masking tape around this area so after placing it i'll go ahead and trace out the curve the way i want it to be you don't need edges on this sleeve it's it has to have that pointy heart shape so this is where i want to stop for now i just gummed the two of them so that i can get the shape that i want so at the end of the day this is what i have you can see that this new piece has a straight cut and i don't need that straight cut i had to use my marker to like shape it the way i want it to be so after giving it this shape i'll go ahead and separate the two of them i have gotten the shape that i wanted now i'll go ahead and slant that pointy part i'll go ahead and slant it so anything that i do here i'll repeat it on the other side of this piece so i folded it and i'm going to curve the other end of this piece so after doing this number two is ready we have gotten our base we have gotten this one and then we we'll cut out the last one so if you place it around that heart shape you will see that everything is smooth now it does not have that edgy or pointy end anymore so that is it for this one the next thing that we are going to do is that we will measure this new one you know after cutting out the heart shape we measure the heart shape round right then we use the measurement to cut out this second one so after cutting out the second one we will measure this second one again and we will use it to cut out the last one now this is the last one and i'm going to fold it into two so after folding it into two we are going to take our measurement unfold it is unfold now so i am going to get the midpoint of this unfold unfold it is 18 inches so the midpoint of that 18 is 9 
this is where the last one will start from so i'll go ahead and fold another fabric and i will cut out a triangular shape it will have nine it will be nine inches long it will be nine inches long so unfold it is nine inches i'm trying to like fold my paper so that i can get what i want so if you want to follow my measurements fine it will give you a very fine sleeve if you want to follow your own measurement that is okay so after folding this i'll, ma I'll measure nine inches so the width of this new one will be four inches this the second one is three this one will be four inches wide i'll go ahead and connect I'll mark a straight line up to that nine inches and then i will connect so after connecting you know one side of this piece that i'm cutting now will be fixed around the shoulder this side is the side that will fix around the shoulder then this one is the one that i will join to the sleeve i hope you understand so this one that i will fix around the shoulder i will mark like five inches there it will not be too wide. The place that we will attach to our shoulder will not be too wide. I'll make it five inches. Then I'll mark a triangular line to that nine inches that I measured earlier. So this last piece, this is the shape it is going to have. One side will be attached to the shoulder and one side of it will be attached to the sleeve. So after cutting it out, I'll go ahead and place it on the second piece. So if I place it on the second piece, this is what I have. Just make sure that their midpoints are meeting. So after doing this, we are not going to leave it like this. We will you know, smoothen it so that everything will have a round curved shape. We don't need all these edges. So I'm trying to make sure that they are equal at the center. And of course, the two of them are at the midpoints now so what i'm going to do is that i will place it on my table and i will smoothen the rough all these edgy points i want to remove them all these pointed areas i want to remove them now we have one two three pieces now what i'm going to do is that using my scissors i'll just go ahead and smoothen it very well not too much i hope we are following if you are confused you can rewatch this sleeve is simple but somehow um tricky now i have curved this part and i'll go ahead and curve the other part i don't want any parts to be edgy i don't know if you understand to be pointed so now we are going to cut them out on our fabric and we'll be cutting out two two pieces for all of them number one number two and number three so we are going to cut out two two pieces one will serve as the main fabric one will serve as the lining so if you are making for two sleeves you will cut out um four pieces two for one sleeve two for the other sleeve so i have um three pieces now so this is the fabric that i'm using and i've added a hard interface to it if you are making your own shoe use a a very thick interface if you have a color gum that will be fine so i am cutting them out and i added a hard gum i'm just using a normal hard gum because i'm doing an illustration but if you are making your own add a very thick interface to it this leaf has to be very structured so that if you add your trimmings on top it will not be folding i hope you understand what i mean so at the end of the day these are the pieces that i have this is the longest one that is the middle one the other one there is the one you fix around your shoulder and this is the one that has the heart shape so now i will go ahead and join the middle one to the heart shape first of all i'll join this one to the heart shape so after joining to the heart shape this is what you have do not notch so just go ahead and fold out this is looking like cake to me i don't know it's looking like a cake so i will fold them out and you can see the shape it is giving me already the shape of our sleeve is coming out gradually so this is the main fabric the other one is the lining so anything you do on your main fabric you repeat the same thing on your lining because we are going to give it an inseam finishing so this is the second one the lining parts i have turned them out so now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to join our number three around the middle one so make sure that you notch the center so that the center of this piece will be facing the center of that middle piece i'll also notch the center of the sleeve 
So after notching the center, I will go ahead and join this last piece to it and that is all for now. Make sure that they are equal at the center. So I am done joining this one. This is the shape I have. You go ahead and iron like you'll be folding it in and you will iron. That is how you iron all these um, joint areas. So this side will be gathered around the sleeve. You can see that the shape of the sleeve is coming out gradually though i don't know if it's the method that they used in making that one but this method got the shape of that sleeve very well and i like it so i am done joining all of them and go ahead and iron so you are you will be folding it in and you'll be ironing so all the lines will come out very well it will, it will retain the structural shape of that sleeve so you can see the way i am ironing so for the this upper part you can just go ahead and place it on your bust ham and iron you can just place it on your bust ham and iron so that you can maintain the shape of this sleeve so after doing this um this is what i have at the end of the day now it is time to join the two of them together you fold out one part this one may serve as the lining. you can choose the one you want to serve as you want to use as the lining so you go ahead and you turn them round so use your machine to smoothen all these um uneven parts then around the upper part you can leave it open that is where you will turn it out from so now i am done turning and i'm trimming out the excess allowance i have so you can see the upper part is open i will turn it out from there so after turning it out i'll go ahead and iron very very well after ironing you close that part where you left open and that will be all the only thing that you have to do is is that you use your needle and thread to tack it to your shoulder area you can just gather the top and then you go ahead and join it to your shoulder area i'll go ahead and close this open part just run a little stitch on it because at the end of the day you may add trimmings if you want but if you don't want to add trimmings you can still leave it that way if you want you can also turn it from the inside it depends on what you want so just iron properly and you know if you're making your own you use a very thick gum right so just gather this top and it will give you the shape you want i hope this tutorial is helpful so this is me pinning it on my dress form registration for our june classes is ongoing we have hip padding reception class blazer trouser corsets kiddies wear shirts we have a lot of classes about seven online classes so if you want to register for any of them just drop a comment in the comment section and i will direct you on how to do your registration i hope this tutorial is helpful helpful please don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video also click on the notification bell it is very important so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified so thank you guys so much for watching my video thank you for your support and see you all in my next video bye